Well, thank you, like that. Salutations, my lovely little lunatics. It's me, your friendly internet psychopath insanity. Here is my co-host, Bob. Hello, and today we're doing a nice little just talky video. <coughs> uh, and that's why. I have been up for like five hours now dealing with faucet nose and... You want to know how it feels to be completely dehydrated beyond all knowledge? Has uh, about whatever. Have faucet nose. Anyhow, I hope you all had a great. Ha a great. I hope you all had Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a good New Year. But I made some resolutions that let me go back to, and I want to read them out. And I want to do a quick little discussion on what I plan on doing. Uh, Twitter, not the porn. There we are. My resolutions for 2020. Get my neck fixed. I need surgery here because a lymph node got trapped by the muscle about five years ago, and lymph nodes filter out poison. The problem is, since it's been trapped there, it's filled with five years of poison. Also, a lymph node is not supposed to have something with pressure on it, but due to it being there, the neck muscles constantly put pressure, so if I sleep on that side, it causes massive amounts of pain. I've had a bunch of stuff done, but surgery is now the only point, the thing that's going to fix it. Get back into shape. I, another thing, due to, uh, for the past three and a half years, I've had blood come out back end. It was not that fun. No, it's not fun. I don't imagine it ever was supposed to be fun. But, I yes, I've had blood coming out my backside, which I had a colonoscopy originally. That was like two years ago. Actually, that was three years ago because it was shortly after. And uh, what ended up happening was that at that point in time, they were just looking for cancer and Crohn's, and it wasn't that. So... About a year later, we tried to get another colonoscopy to figure out what it was, but my insurance was like, that'll be $10,000. And we're like, we're not paying that. <laughs> so it went by the wayside. Then mom got cancer, and then COVID, and then grandma died. And I just kind of put it to the wayside. Because that after the first time I got the colonoscopy was mainly because I was bleeding on my backside, and if and the pain was just unimaginable. Well, it turned out the pain was caused due to acetaminophen. You know that thing where they always say on the bottle, if you take too much, there could be gut problems. Well, when I was a welder, I took Excedrin and stuff like that all day long, every day, the maximum amount of dose. And, of course, after years of doing that, it came back to buy me in the behind. But then the bleeding never stopped. So, on December 17th, this past December 17th, I finally got an endoscopy, which is down the throat, and another colonoscopy. Well, it as it turns out, though, let me explain the main reason I got this and why the whole working getting back into shape thing is a big thing after three and a half years of every time you go number two there the toilet water looks like kool-aid well i finally was like i can't have a stable job i'm tired all the time i walk upstairs and i almost pass out but i can walk two and a half miles be fine but if i lift anything heavy i'm about to pass out on all that stuff i see stars and i can sleep 14 hours a day and still be tired well they i went now, once again, my dad's at this point. We're like, okay, we need to get this all fixed. I don't care. Money is an issue anymore. We need to get this done. So I go and I get stuff looked at. And it turns out the main, and I tell them all that. And they were like, there's, because the big thing was, I, uh, the second time for the second colonoscopy, the guy I talked to, I told him about the blood. And he was like, that's not a big issue. You're fine. Talk to this new doctor because I lost my, because my insurance no longer carried that other doctor. This new doctor was like, well, good thing your insurance dropped that guy because he's a crackpot. Three and a half years of this much blood in dealing with stuff. Yeah, something is wrong. So, he did a blood test. Now, your red blood cells carry oxygen through the body. Mine was at 50% of normal humans. And that's bad. And he said that easily explains why. That, that's another reason why I was like, I, I'm, I'm, I, my depression is gone, but I get tired so easily I can't play video games. I have problems with all that shit. Once again, sorry about all the language stuff. But I have problems with that. It's just, it's so hard to do. I, I don't, I couldn't understand it. And he comes back and says like, yeah, there are massive problems. Because when I was there at the doctor's office, I explained it all to him. And then he just had me sit, stand, this was like, he had me stand up and sit down ten times. And on the ninth time, I passed out. 
and him and the nurse had to catch me. And so they were like, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, we're going to, we're setting you up for an endoscopy, which is down the front of the throat because I have severe, I have a heart, a heartburn and all that stuff. And to the point that there was at one point in time, I was waking up vomiting bile so acidic that it melted my trash can, my little trash, my little trash bin just melted straight through it onto the floor. And, uh, and then the bleeding issue. And so I went on December 17th. I got my endoscopy, my colonoscopy, and they came back and they were like, you have ulcerative colitis. But that's before getting all the biopsies and all that stuff. They did also biopsies. But ulcerative colitis is, as you know, an ulcer is like a bur I don't know how to explain it fully, but basically it explains the reason as to why I have such issues and explains the reason why I never fully healed. And ulcerative colitis is something, it's treatable, not curable. So it's something I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life. Uh, very likely, especially my case where it's been three and a half years and it didn't even stop. It, there was no change in it. It was always constant. So he's like, you prob yeah, this is easily going to be. But luckily, the big thing for me, because the pain was gone, the, I, the nausea, I've had nausea, the kind of nausea, apparently, I, I got used to the nausea every day, but they were like, that's the kind of nausea that is crippling to most people. And the fact that you have it every day is also another issue. The big for me, thing for me is the bleeding. Because like I said, I can't have a normal job. I can't stand for more than a couple hours a day, basically. If I stand for over an hour, I, I, that's why I'm now sitting on my standing desk. Because I can't, I can't stand for that long. And, uh, but also at the same time, I used to hit the gym three to five days a week. Now I can't do any of that. I can't. I just can't. I physically can't. And, uh, so that's, that's the whole, uh, getting, getting back into shape, workout four days a week. Number three, finish my associates. I have four classes left. This past semester was terrible because I took three classes. Two of them got canceled. So I took two late start classes. Those two got canceled. And then my third class, which I had almost made it up to the finals, got canceled. So this semester was useless. I could have been doing videos. I could have been forcing myself to do videos or something like that. But I was so focused on school and moving on that didn't work. But now I'm taking two classes this semester, hopefully one over the summer and one in the fall semester, and then I'll be done. And I'll have my associates, and then I can move on to my bachelor's, which is in cybersecurity, by the way. Uh, make a new drawing twice a month. I have apparently been gifted with the ability to just learn how to draw really easily. Especially what a lot of, it's the one thing of, I don't, it doesn't bother me because of what some people, it was, I know a lot of people hate tracing, but the big thing for me is I don't like have the wax paper underneath and I trace over it. No, it's literally me looking at a picture and I can draw it just by looking at it. Like, I can get the proportions and all that stuff. And then I take that and I start doing my own stuff to it. That's what I did with a bunch of those art books where it's like, here's the figure of a woman. And I would draw over the base shape and then I would continue to change over that. Back in high school and everything, throughout college, because I took some art classes, they were like, you really need to get into this. And I was just like, I don't think it's good. And always being told that tracing is scum. I was like, okay. But now, but once again, I did an art. I did some pictures a while ago and people loved it and people bought it. So that was another thing I always promised my mom before she passed that I would do a bunch of drawings and stuff. And she wanted me to do a very nice thing of a family portrait because she knew I traced a lot, like the visual tracing. And she wanted a nice big portrait that I could take a small family photo from like back in the 90s and turn it into a huge art thing. And that's what she wanted me to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, learn to play the guitar. I quite literally, the Davy Jones locket theme. I wrote that all out with, through my own complete bullshit custom system of writing down the string and then the fret 
And I did the entire song that way. And I learned to do it that way, but that's not pop, that's not a good thing to learn on, so that was another thing. A lot of this stuff is what my mom wanted me to do and a lot of stuff that I promised her, and then she passed away, and I didn't get to do it for her, and that crushed me deep inside. So I was like, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to learn to play guitar. I can, that's something I can do with my dad. I want you to know right now, I don't know why I have these on. I can't hear. Oh, there they popped. Anywho. So that was something I promised my mom. That's something I'm going to do. Sorry, I keep looking over here because that's where OBS is and you're up there. Uh, another one. Write a chapter a month from my book. I have had three book ideas. I have an actual series written up. And I've got like 150 short poems and all that stuff. And I have an entire book series that I actually wrote out and started doing stuff on. And then it kind of failed because, once again, this was during the peak of my depression. And with my psychiatrist, my psychiatrist sent it off to, uh, like, just some people who actually write books for a living. And, then like, people who publish books and stuff like that. And they loved it. And he, that, was more of my, that was more of my psychiatrist trying to help me, like, yeah, look, this isn't stupid. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. And now I'm finally at that point where it's like, I don't care if it makes money or whatever. This is more so for me to get it done. And once again, something I promised my mom I would do. And that's the biggest thing. You promise to do something, but I'll get to it later. I'll get to it later. I'll get to it later. And then mom's gone. And later doesn't mean anything anymore. There is no more later. So now for me, it's to get all this stuff done. I promised mom I would do it. And up until recently getting my health issues fixed, I was like, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have. I don't. Uh, I've had heart issues since, God, I remember back in high school, I would literally stand up from a chair and my car would go, Brrr, and I would sit down gripping my chest like, Ugh. and then with the depression and suicide and all that stuff up until recently, it's just... Hey, my mom was amazed I made it out of high school. That was her big thing. She was so happy that I pushed through it. And now, there's stuff I promised my mom I would do, and I'm going to do it before something kills me. Next one is uh, stream three days a week. I kind of I want to do streaming. That's something I always wanted to do, but recently, once again, I can't do to something for too long. But now, I'm on medication that has effectively stopped the bleeding. I... I have a little bleeding every now and then, but at the same time, I used to go to the bathroom five times a day just because the blood would pool up, and then it would be Kool-Aid water. And then the last one is make five videos a week. I originally had a video set up for this. I tried setting it up, and uh, there was an update to OBS, which messed with my settings. I thought it looked okay in the preview. It would come back. No, it's like... I'm just like, screw it. Okay, make an update video. So... For a lot of people, 2020 sucked. Really did. For me, it was better than usual, mainly just because I got to a point where I got to, went to doctors. Physically, I'm doing okay. I'm doing better. I'm finally going to be moving out of the family house. Because, in all honesty, I'm the only one that lives here. And $4,500 a month, it's just, it's not worth it. My brother proposed. He moved out, got his own house. Sister, she's had her own house for a little, for a couple years now. Uh, she has her kiddo. Everything's going fine there. Uh, my fa, my mother and father-in-law have moved down. And uh, well, mother and father-in-law. I don't know what that means exactly, but whatever. They're not my direct father and mother mother and father-in-law <laughs> whatever <laughs> her mother and father-in-law have moved down doing great <laughs> they actually they're they're in their 70s and they got covid and they're fine so i'm very i'm very very glad about that grandma did pass but she didn't pass to covid she got to go home she was having surgeries and stuff like that and she got to go home to uh to holly hall Got to, got to see her friends, got to talk for a bit, and then, but sadly, she pretty much passed away the day after she got out of the hospital. My dad, he spent a good portion of COVID with uh, his 
knew with his girlfriend who she her her husband also passed to cancer but her the thing was my mom passed away in about five months time her husband passed away in about two years so but no they're great for each other i'm so glad they're happy i'm almost done with my associates move on to bachelor's i'm finally getting physical issues dealt with I actually am not on antidepressants anymore because just haven't needed them. And my psychiatrist, I, this happened early back in January. My psychiatrist believes my brain is finally pumping out the chemicals correctly, so that's great. Sure, I still have the hallucinations and multiple personalities and the voices and all, but at the same time, without the depression, they're a lot more tame. It's a lot more interesting. They're a lot more fun. Not being sent to hell every single day. So. That's this little update video. Uh, may stream later on today. Today is what? Wednesday? No, God, I'm off. Wow. Today is Saturday. So I might stream later on today. Probably do some Deep Rock. I'm probably, the games I'm going to stream are going to be games like that. I may start doing Brown Man stuff. <laughs> or Ray Narvaez Jr. He'll always be Brown Man to me. Just like Ryan will, uh, Ryan Haywood will always be the Mad King. And, uh, yeah. Once again. Sorry, I just couldn't do another video with me snotting. My head hurts so bad right now. Ugh. Anywho, that's a little bit of this. Sorry Bob didn't talk too much. It's just kind of been me rambling because, once again, I am very tired and very dehydrated at this point. Also, this is... I've been dealing with my uh, drinking problem. Don't drink anywhere near as much. This has been some nice H-E-B house or breakfast blend coffee. Anywho, hope everyone out there has a great start to the new year. Take it a little bit at a time, cause just don't don't try to go full hog. Cause every time you do, there's a good chance that it's just not gonna work out correctly. Take it from someone who's tried to do that multiple times. Uh, I'm no longer gonna drink. <laughs> Came back drinking worse. Uh, I'm gonna go work out. Ended up causing myself serious serious injury. <laughs> I'm going to take five, I'm going to take, when my mom passed away, I'm going to take all, about like six months later, I'm going to take all my classes, broke down, couldn't deal with it. Bit by bit. That's all we got to deal with this. <sighs> May even restart my news channel. Yeah, I don't think about that. You know what? I don't think that's good. After all, someone did threaten our lives and try to come to our house. True, but I do have a shotgun and now I have my rifle and stuff like that. So... Yeah. Anywho, if you like this video, then check out that one and subscribe for more. <laughs> well, now we'll see you on later. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>